Hello everyone, my name is Mark Tolliver and I am a life coach, business coach, and leadership coach associated with Life Creations Education, which is a coaching company out of Carlsbad, California. And I'm actually coming to you from Maui, Hawaii. So I could be coming to you an ocean away or right next door, depending upon where you're watching this video. And if you're tapping into this video for the first time, stay on this video. This is all about intention and we're working with a workbook that's from Life Creations Education. And although we've st already started the workbook, you can tap in, in at any time. That's what this workbook and that's what these videos are intended for. For people that have been following me since the beginning, since January of 2013, or if you're tapping in right now, the information will be valuable to you and will be a good tool. So. I recommend that you stay on and I also recommend you to watching the rest of my videos. Okay, so let's continue with this. We are now on video, what is it, 27? Wow. And we're talking about spirituality. And why are we talking about spirituality if we're just working on our intentions? And what is spirituality? Spirituality can be a hot button topic for a lot of people because it's automatically you connect it to religion but we're not talking about religion here this is where my part of my life coaching actually comes in and connecting it with your intentions which connects it actually to your business that connects it to what you want to do your goals for yourself or for others um, this is how you strike the mark and you stay on that road because we're actually talking about feelings what we feel inside um, who we are, uh, what makes us wake up in the morning and what makes us fall asleep at night, what makes us feel joy, what makes us feel pain, um, what makes us feel sadness, what makes us laugh. That's what we're talking about is what makes us feel good and what makes us feel bad and what makes us just feel. That is kind of like the magic inside us that keeps us going. And then we're going to be talking about our human side. And what is human? Well, our human is our mind, what we think. It can be physical. It can um, also have feelings, but it could be in an ache. It could be in a pain. It could be in a good feeling. Um, that's our humanness. Our humanness is, is what we do day to day, um, who we are, that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a quote from the book that will kind of explain what I'm talking about and then I'll read the entire page of the book. Uh, you cannot get the workbook yet unfortunately from our um, website because we're just putting a new website up of Life Creations and we still need to fill in the pages. Um, but hopefully if you're watching this at even a later date that I'll have the link below that you can tap into and it's just lifecreations.com and once again the book is only twelve dollars with two dollars shipping so it's a pretty easy book to get it has exercises in it I usually like to assign homework since I'm a coach and um, I won't be assigning homework but I will be until you can purchase the book reading some of the exercises so you can uh, utilize it and then once again um, when the book is available, you can go in deeper with this book and you can uh, do the exercises. Okay, so I'm going to read this quote right now. And the quote is from Jacqueline Small. And the quote is, we are not human beings learning to be spiritual. We are spiritual beings learning to be human. So what does that quote say to you? I also have it down below this video. And you can reread it. What does it say to you? Um, does it push a hot bucket topic button type deal to you? Are you thinking of religion right now? And it takes you away and all of a sudden you're in your humanness thinking about that? Or does it feel good to you? Or is it, like, is it a kind of like an aha moment? So if you'd like to even write that down, you can even put me on pause. Write that down. Really feel what that feeling's about. And then... Um, I'm going to read to you what's on the next page. So, sorry as I look down again. So, it is, spirituality can be a highly charged subject. The word itself can conjure up an assortment of images, including everything from 
a priest, to a pastor, to a rabbi, to a Gandhi, the guru himself. Ultimately, spirituality is what you make of it. And in order to connect to your own spirituality, you must seek some sort of enlightenment and connection with yourself and your spirit. For most of us, the hectic nature of our day-to-day -day lives leaves little to no time to connect with ourselves. In an effort to keep up with life's rat race, we are running faster and faster to get ahead of our neighbors, yet feeling less and less connected to our spirituality or ourselves. In order to truly connect with the spirituality that will allow us to, to the fulfillment we seek and the connection we desire, we must first discover who we really are. The self consists of two parts, human and being. The human part of us is everything physical, like the body and the mind, while the being is everything non-physical, as in our spirit or soul. We are both human and being, but when it comes to our lives, we tend to forget this. Often we suppress our being, only allowing our mind and body to join us in this plane. The problem this creates is that you're separating yourself from your powerhouse. Without that connection, it's impossible to progress to the next level of spirituality that we are seeking. If your time is spent dividing your human and your being components, you will never achieve in feeling equal. Keeping yourself separate will always deter you from your success or from your intentions to achieve that goal. You must make a conscious choice to maintain a connection to your inner wisdom while still maintaining life's essential daily tasks. Learn to bond with your life, with your spiritual center, to create greater balance, peace, and happiness. So I know that was just a lot that I read and a lot to take in, especially when we're talking about spirituality and we're talking about human, we're talking about being in our heads compared to what we're feeling inside, that energy that makes us go. And if you need to put me on pause again, put me on pause. Write down what, what you felt while I was reading. And I hope I was reading it well. I'm a little bit of, of a slow reader. So I'm really hoping you guys are getting the nugget, the jewel in what I'm saying today in this video. Okay. And let's go to the exercises here because usually I would assign homework. So, and since you can't get this book yet, um, let me go through the exercises because it does have some questions. The first question, why does spirituality mean to you? Meaning, what does spirituality mean to me? What does it mean? Why is it important? Why is there the word spirituality? What's that all about? So that's something you can write down as well as the next question, what have I done to further my spirituality in the recent past? Meaning, what have you done? It doesn't mean going to church, doing religious stuff. It actually means just having some quiet time to yourself. What have you done to connect to you, to yourself? Have you taken that walk in the park, in the forest? Have you kicked off your shoes and walked in the sand or walked in the grass? Have you done some sort of meditation or yoga? Um, one of my clients actually loves Zumba classes and she takes Zumba classes and she says that that connects herself to her being and she'll even do them at night if she can't relax. And that's because that reconnects her to her being, to her spiritual self, as well as getting her out of her head, out of that humanness, that day-to-day -day frenzy. 
so she can reconnect and have some calmness in her life, to have some ease or to um, even if there's a challenge that's going on in her humanness, to be able to go back into her spirituality, to be able to say, hey, what's going on here? I need to connect. So that's what I'm talking about. And then the last question is, I know that for me to become more connected to my own spirituality, I must. What must you do? Is it taking a Zumba class? Is it walking through the park? Is it taking yoga? Is it exercising at the gym? What is it? What is it? Is it writing? Is it doing a journal? So whatever that is to connect to you will connect to your intention that you want to put out there. That'll connect to keeping you going and understanding what's going on and really be able to feel inside what's going on. Is that going well for you? If it's not, why? And what do I need to do to make it better? Do I just need to feel and realize what's going on with everything that I'm putting out there? Because there's always an ebb and a flow. And so you're putting something out and things are coming back. But it's also connecting to your authentic self of who you are and connecting that bridge to either other people or connecting that bridge to yourself. And these are the ways that you do it. These are the exercises on how you do it. And um, I hope you got a lot out of this video today. I would love for everyone to share. I'd love for them to share down below, if you could share below in the comment boxes so everybody can see it. And you can also personally email me. And I've gotten a lot of really great emails that I've responded back personally, which I'll keep responding back personally. And um, there are links to other sites. If you're watching this on other sites, I'm constantly checking them day to day. So I'll be able to get back to you as well if you leave a suggestion in the comment box. Or if anybody else wants to read a comment and suggest back to the fellow classmates, please do. I think that's great because we're all sharing. We're, and we're all being in our being, and we're all being in our human by clicking on the video, checking this out if you're tapping into this for the first time. These are the nuggets that I'm talking about that you'll always get out of these videos to be able to reconnect to yourself as well as to be able to connect to others. Okay, so next week, hopefully that page will be up, and if it's not, I'll keep continuing reading from the workbook. And I would love to also know what you guys think of the workbook so far. And um, if you're getting what we're hope that you're getting from coaches, that's truly inspiring you. And we would love to get the comments back to as that as well. Okay. So once again, I will see everyone next week. And with Aloha, have a fabulous week. And remember... Take that walk in the park, take that walk on the beach, dig those toes in the sand, and if you don't have sand, dig those toes on, a, on some grass somewhere. <laughs> okay, with aloha, see you next time.